I gained from NAMI a sense of dignity. The hospitals were very scary. Uh, they were very degrading. Um, they were confusing. Uh, they were very painful experiences. They were very humiliating experiences. When I came to NAMI and I met all these other mental health consumers, people who were taking care of themselves, who had wonderful advice, um, the staff here at NAMI uh, treated me like a human being, and there was so much hope. NAMI was like, hi, you know, we're here to help you, you know, and, and, and keep you in recovery. In the beginning, my family thought that I was doing a lot of the behaviors that I was doing for attention. They then decided to take the family to family course here at NAMI. And afterwards they came up to me and I was very surprised because they apologized and they said, we realize now so many more things after taking that course that are beyond your control. And we were holding you responsible almost for you know, side effects and symptoms and all that kind of stuff. And um, that was really, really helpful. It was very difficult for my family to accept. Um, it was painful. They didn't know what was going to happen to me. My very first experience was with the bipolar support group. I was nervous. I was anxious because I didn't know what to expect. Was I going to be accepted because I hadn't accepted me yet? So, but when I came, everybody was so nice and so friendly. It was really um, such a blessing. When I walked through these doors, my first thing was, I'm at home. This is my family. They understand me. And I'm accepted. Nobody looked at me strange. Nobody talked down to me. And I went from struggling to acceptance with total acceptance. And I went from hopeless to hopeful. And um, I've been here ever since. I think there are a lot of reasons why people choose to come back to NAMI, but I think one of the main elements of why people return is because we are founded on this idea of sincere, uncritical acceptance. For many people who are living with mental illness and their families, we spend so much time hiding, experiencing shame and guilt, and, and the community is not able to accept all those parts of us. But at NAMI, it's all of those parts, not just that face that you give to society, to your community, but those pieces you're not willing to share. And when you come to NAMI, we hear all those things and we accept you. And we don't just accept you, we value your experience as something that's gonna help someone else gain support and information and feel stronger themselves. You really gain a lot when you come to support groups and classes. I think that so many of the people that come to our programs, in fact, I know that so many people that come to our programs and services immediately are looking for a way to give back, to stay connected to NAMI. Something that's very common that we hear from leaders of our programs and services is that they get as much as they give. And who doesn't want to come back for that? NAMI has changed my life by giving me a purpose. When I found NAMI in, in 2006, that was nine years after I'd been diagnosed, my illness became not just about treatment, but it became about education, advocacy, and support. It gives me a place to come to where I don't have to explain anything, where I can feel good about myself, where I can take what the experience that I've, that I've gone through and use it for good. I look at it this way, NAMI is my life, and it's my passion, and I feel like it's my calling. Yes, I'm smiling because I, I remember that aha moment. I was at um, a presentation with someone and we were doing it in our own voice presenting together. She said, her name is not her diagnosis. It doesn't define who she is. And I was like, yes, I got it now. <laughs> and I said, you know, she's absolutely right. 
and that's what I adapted for myself. My name is not my diagnosis at all. My name is Cynthia, and that's who I go by. And I always remember my name is Cynthia. <laughs> Joy and strength, a happiness that um, I found them. And they have really impacted my life. And wherever I come in those doors, <clears throat> I'm home. This is the place where I got my recovery. This is the place where I got my hope back. This is the place where I got my joy. This is the place where I got my strength and I still get my strength from day to day. This is the place where I can come in and just see my family working and doing things to reach out to help other people. It's a caring place. It's a loving place and it's one of the best places to be.